I'm Terrence Dick, and this is Views. This is part three of a three-part series on history. It's called The Past is Not Past. We're here at the Power Plant Contemporary Art Gallery in Toronto looking at Edessa Hendler's exhibition, The Milliner's Daughter. And it provides an ample opportunity, the perfect opportunity, to consider our various relationships with the past. And largely, what we do with that past in order to make what we call history. One of the things that this collection of work does is it, it, it you know, it creates a haunting impression. And when we think of haunting, we think of ghosts, and ghosts are often a return from the past, a past that's been unresolved. So the relationship we have with what's happened in the past, not only just our personal past, but our historical past, is something that often requires us physically, mentally, spiritually even, to, to forget it, to let it go, to move on. I think you can also look at this as a return of what's been left behind. There's a kind of air of death here, and these figures, these inert figures who are sitting in pews and waiting and looking and regarding each other, and it has to do with you know, the anatomy of the human body. Gallery spaces are often, especially contemporary gallery spaces, you're always looking what's new and what's next, and there's this forgetting, or there's this ignoring of the past. And what's unique about this exhibition is that you're thrust into a past that isn't often on display in a contemporary art gallery. The music you hear is on a constant loop and plays through the night over the course of the entire exhibition. That unceasing song suggests that it's less for the people who come and go, the visitors, and more for the figures who sit here all summer waiting and listening. The way in which the past serves as a means to change who we are uh, is something that's rooted in uh, our childhood experiences and the way it's constructed is evoked in this exhibition as well. Here, the artist is conscientiously taking things that evoke the past and past narratives, uh, fairy tales and the like, and creating her own out of those remnants. History isn't something we're so bound to, isn't something that just hangs on us like baggage, but something that we can select from and um, play with. That would be a good ending.